So I'll wait till you to skip you, Lee. Today we're gonna be continuing chapter 11. So you're gonna be want to be on page 74 in your books um, so that you can follow along. This week we're talking about third conjugation verbs. So again, the emphasis is gonna be on verbs this week instead of nouns, which is a little bit different from last chapter. We're gonna start with pronouncing our vocabulary. Um, so if you're on page 74, make sure that you are following along and let's get started. Castra, castrorum, miles, militis, scriba, scribi, toga, togai, curo, curere, cucuri, cursum, circumdo, circumdare, circumdawi, circumdatum, dico, dicere, dixi, dictum, gero, gerere, gesi, gestum, Mito, mitere, missi, missum. Peto, petere, petui, petitum. Pono, ponere, posui, positum. Probo, probare, probawi, probatum. Teneo, tenere, tenui, tentum. Carus, cara, carum. Dexter, dextra, dextrum. And then don't forget about your part B list this week. That's prepositions. They are ad, a or ab, cum, de, a or x, in, pair, pro, sub, and trans. And that's your vocabulary list for chapter 11. We're going to talk about the prepositions um, later on this week, but for now we're going to stick with verbs. Um, so we're going to talk about third conjugation verbs. Remember, any verb, um, the first task that you have is always to find the stem of that verb. Um, so in your last assignment in your vocabulary list, you went through all of the verbs, you found the stem, and you told me which conjugation those verbs were, whether they were first, second, or third. And remember, conjugation just means pattern. So when it, whenever you have a first conjugation verb, whenever you go to find the stem, that stem will end in an A. So this week in our list, we have two of those, two first conjugation verbs. They are circumdo and probo. So when you find the stem of those two verbs, your stem will end in an A. For any second conjugation verbs, you'll go to find the stem, go to the second form, take off the RE, and you'll be left with an E with a long mark over it. We only have one second conjugation verb this week, and that is teneo, tenere. So if you want to find the stem of teneo, tenere, um, you'll go to the second form, tenere, take off the RE, and what you're left with is an E that has a long mark over it. So that's gonna be second conjugation. All the rest of our verbs in our list this week are third conjugation which means that when you find the stem, you'll, you're left with an E with no long mark over it. And that's gonna be really important. Um, so for this assignment for today, what you're gonna be doing is conjugating a third conjugation verb in the present tense. Um, so what you're gonna need to do is turn in your books to page 76. And if you find at the top of the page, it'll, it should say present tense, um, on section 32 and they give you a um, example of a conjugation of a third conjugation verb and the word that they use is mito so that's going to be our example as well so when they conjugate mito they're going to find the stem first and this is going to be a little bit different than what you're used to okay so you'll go to the second form take off the re like usual Anytime you have a third conjugation verb for the present tense, that E is also gonna come off for the present tense conjugation. So before you add your endings, you need to take that E off as well. And if you look at the chart of mito, what they've done, um, it says mito mitis with an I, and it keeps going with an I, okay? That is because we have new third conjugation present tense endings. And if you still have your reference sheet, you'll notice that there's actually a section for that. And so you may wanna go ahead and fill those in on your reference sheet. And those are O, IS with an IS, IT with an IT, IMUS, 
itis, and then the last one is an unt with a u. Okay, so those are your third conjugation present tense endings. That's what you'll use to conjugate your third conjugation verbs today. Um, and so what you're gonna do is find the stem, and then once you have found the stem, take off that e. A good way that I like to remember to do that is, um, if you remember second conjugation, that e has a long mark over it. And whenever you see that long mark over that e, it means it stays. Okay, so pretend like the long mark is holding that e in place. If you don't see a long mark, like for all of our third conjugation verbs, that e has to drop out. It's not strong enough to stay there on its own. So you'll take off the e, and so your new stem, if we're doing mito, for example, your new stem is just going to be mit. And then you would add your new third conjugation present tense endings, o, is, it, imus, it is unt. And then when you go to translate, you just translate like you normally would. I, you, he, we, y'all, they. So that's conjugation, conjugating third conjugation verbs. So remember, anytime you go to find the stem of a verb, go to the second form, take off the RE. If that E that's left has a long mark, you'll treat it just like normal. If it does not have a long mark, you'll use these new third conjugation endings. As always, don't forget to translate unless you're told otherwise. So in today's assignment, you're gonna do two third conjugation present tense verbs, just like they did Mito at the top of the page 76. So you can follow that example. Um, so you're gonna do two of those and then you'll also need to translate them. And again, if you have any questions about any of this, um, always feel free to chat me, let me know that you're having trouble and we can figure it out. I think that's it for today, and I will see you guys later. Wale te discipuli.